Hello. My name is Naim Lajrubin Pijohar and my metric number is 191887. So for design 2 and assignment 2 and for week 2, we're going to list out the problem statements for the grass machine cutter and we're going to explain about the design specification. So the first problem statement is that the scattered stones bring damage to the car as dented and cheap. And then, um, more workers are required to cover large, area, large cutting area, which will increase the labor cost. And then, fatigue and ergonomic problems to the worker when they're using the machine. And also, some of the machine using fuel, which will increase the operation cost. Uh, we also have that certain grass cutter and road sweeper that are not following the concept of green technology which will harm the nature and the last problem statement is that the battery of grass cutting machine is less effective in long in long term of operation and have high cost so Harris will explain about the design specification so uh, in this uh, video discussion we're gonna uh, discuss about the design specification which we're gonna, we gonna put into our lawnmower which is uh, there are five uh, specification that we consider to be put in our lawnmower which is the first one um, uh, the first one is a uh, blade uh, and second one is grass litter box third one is battery and the fourth one is ergonomics and the last one is super super and uh, super of the grass and long more okay so first of all we're gonna uh, we have bring our each member design for this long hour so each member need to explain about their design so uh, first of all i will explain about my design first proposal design so basically my my lawnmower was uh, using a battery and spiral blade cutter and we also a push lawnmower and it uh, this doesn't use fuel to power the lawnmower so uh, it's better for our environment and then uh, when you use battery so in uh, the weakness is uh, in not it is not to be long run the uh, uh, machine for cutting the grass. So I will pass to Emilia for next. Thanks. Okay, so for the second design, which is mine, uh, the lawnmower use uh, green lithium and green lithium battery, and then it have double blade to double the efficiency, efficiency and optimize grass collection. And then it has a bigger rear wheel and smaller front wheel, which is suitable to use at the rough surface. And it also has a vacuum um, at the back to suck all the grass or stones and suck the grass and put them into the collection bed so we don't need two times of wood to do the cleaning and it also have convenient handle to transport the product comfortable and easily and yeah uh, the lawnmower have uh, can carry two batteries at the same time for long uh, use operation so i will pass to diana so for my design, my design also use a lithium iron battery and the, my lawnmower is uh, uh, better for the environment because it does, it, it does not cause any pollution. So uh, it, my, my lawnmower is recharge, rechargeable and it only is suitable for a small or medium surface uh, and it has the engine capacity. The battery is a simple power of source and it does need 
it own maintenance but the maintenance quite simple so you just drop the battery inside the slot and make sure it's safe and push up push the start button so for the weight of the my my lawnmower is quite uh, light uh, and because it is plastic that can hold that easily hold the elements uh, in terms of ergonomics the my mower is can be push and can be fold folding up can be fold uh, can be full the handle can be full so i will explain it in more on the ergonomics later okay. so uh, we're gonna move to our first specification for the long mower which is uh, our blade so for my long mower i will use a spiral blade which is five blade in a cylinder uh, is rotating. So the blade is gonna be rotating to cut the grasses. And it also has a cutting force, uh, which is about 189.14 Newton. So uh, it's, I, uh, from my uh, research, I, it's a good and optimum force to cut the uh, grass uh, for long about 50 millimeter of grasses, a 15 millimeter tall of grass. So uh, the, the blade also can be uh, operated by uh, automatic cutting, which is uh, it can rotate and uh, cut the grass automatically uh, because we use also battery and it connected to the blade. And also the blade also have uh, simple maintenance because uh, the the rotating blade is uh, easy to maintain, easy to cap and be clean, and also it also have uh, many spare parts uh, in the market to be changed. So I'll pass to Emilia about to explain about the blade. Okay, so for my blade, I use uh, standard blade with a uh, measurement of. 55 cm length, length and the weight of the blade is 1.18 kilogram and there is a hole at the center of the blade so that it can mount to the to the motor and the blade is also made from the medium carbon steel to reduce the hardness of the blade because uh, um, the blade for the long mower, they are designed to be bang rather than break when it when they hit a hard object during the operation. So, as it shows on the screen, the force when cutting the grass is eight point three three newton, and the force needed to cut the grass is small which means it is easier to cut them by using the long mower. Any sharp object that require less force to complete sharp object require less force to complete the work compared to blind object. So I will pass to Diana. Uh, so for my blade uh, I will put my blade under the uh, long mower and the material is still sheet and stacked on the pallet. Um, the, the cutting force of my blade is at... Sorry. Four point eight seven kilonewton. Eh, sorry, 4.87 newton. Um, and the speed at tip of my blade is around 1.2 mph. Um, the top that produced by my blade is around 5.696 uh, newton meter. Uh, my basically my blade is just a basic blade that will cutting out the grass and have a section part. Uh, in front of it. Okay, so we're gonna move to our second specification, which is uh, the grass litter box for 
the grass uh, cutting for the grass after the cutting process. So for, for me, uh, the grass little box is situated in front of the lawnmower and be connected to near to the blade. As uh, the blade cut the grasses, it automatically will be uh, put into this uh, grass little box. And the dimension for the grass little box is 40 times 35 times 25, which is the volume of the tank of the or the grass little box, which is 35,000 centimeter cube. Uh, which are approximately uh, good enough for a yard, uh, a standard yard for houses in Malaysia. So uh, it doesn't have like uh, automatic vacuum or suction or anything because we, if we put it, it's gonna cost more uh, money because we need a vacuum. So. It's simple and it's used material as plastic, so it's easy to manufacture. And that's all from me. Okay, I'll pass to Emilia. So for my grass litter box, uh, it can collect it can collect rubbish up to seven liter, which is equal to seventy thousand centimeter cube. So uh, when the little box is uh, full with the uh, grass uh, or rubbish and uh, it will indicate uh, lamp at the part at the body part of the lawn mower so that uh, we <coughs> we can know that the grass little box is uh, already full and it is ready to be empty so that we can use it so I will pass Diana. So for my litter box, my volume of the my grass pack is fifty liter. Uh, my lawn mower uh, is just uh, for suitable for the medium and small surface. So my grass litter box is just uh, quite small in order to. Uh, collect all the dust and all the grass and it also uh, it also uh, suitable for the weight of the myelon mower which is uh, quite light and that uh, and it also can be taken off uh, from myelon mower so that's all so uh, we're gonna move to our next uh, presentation, which is uh, the battery of the our lawnmower. So first of all, for me, I use D Max Forty V Lion battery model two nine four seven two. So the specification for this battery, which is uh, the operating voltage, uh, gonna have, it gonna give about forty volt. The current or the current for one hour, it gonna uh, produce about. 4 ampere and the load current uh, 1.35 ampere. So basically, this battery gonna on operation on the daily basis operation run, it gonna take about uh, seven hour long to run, and it need to be to fully recharge. It takes about uh, two and a half hours to gonna be operating. So the ratio about one to four. Uh, the ratio of uh, charging to the operation battery. So I'll pass to Emilia about the battery. Okay, so for my battery, which is lithium ion battery, we, uh, specification of the battery is 82 volts and 5 ampere hours. So the um, long mobile can be filled with two battery at the same time to make it uh, long operation. So the battery power is uh, 410 watt hour and the battery life uh, for one battery will be around 1.5 hours. Uh, if we add uh, the two batteries, uh, the long mobile can be operated for three hours. So I will pass Diana. 
so for my battery i'm uh, i'm also use the lithium ion battery uh, my current is at 12 uh, ampere and for my voltage is at 90 volts so the time required for my the battery capacity of my uh, is of my battery is 3000 mAh which is uh, can can hold to up to 2 hours and the time required to charge my battery is 2.5 hours uh, so I think it is uh, quite okay to complete the space for the to complete the space at our house or at our office so we're gonna move to our next specification which is uh, ergonomics for this one more so um for me the ergonomics for my lawnmower is uh it has uh, multiple handle height position which is, can be adjusted according to the height of uh, the users and it making it comfortable comfortable for all the users because uh, it can be adjusted to the different height uh, because uh, it's gonna be more safe and more good for the user and also it also has a uh, ergonomic cushion grip with push up button which uh, make it more comfortable and more uh, reliable to operate the normal work and for the push up but push that button uh, we doesn't need to do the uh, old type of no start of long work, which is you're gonna uh, start using a starter uh, starter button which is uh, we're gonna uh, pull the the pull the um, start button for the lawnmower so I think we're gonna pass to Amelia so for my lawnmower <coughs> at the handle there will be a vibration absorber to reduce the exposure of vibration at the wrist this is because in in the long term, if a uh, vibration exposure can make the wrist uh, to have a carpal tunnel syndrome, which is uh, very dangerous to our wrist. So uh, to avoid that thing happen to the workers, we put the vibration absorber, and then uh, there are uh, handle adjust so that we can adjust the handle to the height that we desired and at the bottom part of the lawn mobile we have a um, protect uh, part which is to avoid the stone or any height and sharp object to fly away and make it dangerous to the people around that area and then the workers don't have to carry weight at the bed because the line, the long over that we use is the push uh, type and then uh, we can also walk peacefully with the long over as there is setting speed to what we want and lastly uh, it is suggested to use the long over during cloudy days instead of rainy or hot days which is uh, not which is uh, for hot day is not required to use the long over because the workers can have um, can have stroke uh, heat uh, cool. if they use it <laughs> on hot day so I just I will pass to Diana so in terms of the ergonomics uh first of all the battery and we make sure it is safe and we stand by the push up button at the handle and as for the weight of the electric in in as the weight of the low model is is uh, light and much easier because it use plastic components uh the plastic components will hold the element and it's much lighter compared to the metal uh, which is the worker doesn't need to uh, worker can easily lift up the lawnmower. Um, for the handle, uh, it is easy to push and 
um, it also easy to folding it down for the storage and for the maintain maintainability and the lomo is much easier to control. And uh, I think that's all for the in term of the economics. So I'm gonna move to our next presentation, which is uh, sweeper. For my lawnmower, there's a doesn't need a sweeper or vacuum because it's gonna be manually uh, the grass the grass cut uh, the grass after the cut gonna manually uh, goes into the grass into box. So it doesn't need to have a vacuum or suction uh, machine to make the grass into the grass little box. So it's gonna cut the cost uh, for our manufacturer to manufacture the lawnmower because we doesn't have this machine that take quite a lot of money to manufacture. So I will pass to Emilia. So for my lawnmower, the sweeper part I use a uh, vacuum. So uh, to create the vacuum force, uh, there is a centrifugal fan in the lawnmower which will create a suction power to suck in all the smaller things. Uh, and as you can see in the on the screen, uh, there is a fan there which is centrifugal fan. Uh, it will create um, lower at most uh, lower pressure uh, in the low mobile so that uh, all the smaller things can be sucked all into the collecting bag. So uh, when I calculate the pressure inside the low mobile, uh, it gives me two thousand. 750 pascal which is um which is lower than the atmosphere pressure so i will pass to diana so for my uh lawnmower there is a uh, vacuum under it but i forgot to put it inside the slide uh for the suction part uh, i use the portal transfer the system use is portal transfer unit and the uh, i just the vertical force for the suction part is the 4.38 newton at that will it will shut uh, it will suck all the grass into the litter box and for the horizontal part is the 3.47 newton that will uh, suck all the grass from the horizontal uh, parts. Um, so it have the safety factor that minimum value in value is two, and it is uh, the vacuum is suitable for the uh, rough surface and the smooth surface. I think that's all from us. Uh, we continue uh, our video three on the next week, right? Yes. So okay. that's all from our specification. Uh, yeah. Design specification. So this is uh, our second video. So for the next week, uh, we're gonna discuss about uh, the design concept selection. So we're gonna uh, discuss about uh, what the design that we choose, uh, we should choose uh, from our proposed specification. So we're gonna make some adjustment and some method, which is uh, I think like we're gonna use push method to selected our design. So anyone to add anything? Mm, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. No. Okay. So I think uh, that's all from us. Uh, thank you. Bye. 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 See you guys next week. <laughs>